Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching today's tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to put tapes on in fourth position for the cello. And I already made a video of how to put tapes on for first position, but fourth is a little bit more tricky so I thought I would make a video for that as well. As you can see, I put tapes on for today's video in first position already just to kind of show you and maybe do a little bit of a review. Um, of course, I don't use tapes anymore, but um, I thought putting them on for today would kind of show you the relationship between first position and fourth position and kind of help to show you visually what that looks like. And for those of you who are new to learning the cello or any stringed instrument, you will of course notice that there are no frets, right? So we're not as fortunate as the guitar players. We have to use our ear, develop really good intonation. Not saying that guitar players don't have good intonation, but on the cello, on any stringed instrument, it really does take uh, quite a bit of skill to train yourself um, to basically just memorize your fingers and know where they're supposed to go. You don't really have any visual cues to do that. But as a beginner, um, that's why you put tapes on to kind of give you um, an outline of where your fingers should uh, fall. Let me go over these real fast for a review. So on the A string, you have finger one on B. Finger two is on C. Finger three, C sharp. And then finger four, D. And then on the open D string, so your second string, finger one is on E. My cello slipped. Okay. Finger two is on F, finger three is on F sharp, and then finger four is on G. And then here's your open G string. We have finger one on A, finger two on B flat, finger three on B natural, finger four on C, and then here's your open C string. Here's finger one on D, finger two on E flat, finger three on E natural, and then finger four on F. And honestly, I probably did that a weird way. I probably should have started going, uh, going, sorry, started from the bottom and then um, going all the way to the top. Um, but either way, you get the picture. So basically, it's just the alphabet, right? So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Um, yeah, so basically. Um, so going into fourth position, fourth position is located a whole step above the fourth finger on the A string. So here's D. Fourth position starts right here. And of course, um, on the A string, like yes, this is fourth position, but obviously you can have fourth position on these other strings as well. Um, so all of this right here is fourth position. Um, and I will go over those notes but let's put tapes on, um, and I have my tapes right here. So, I always like to think um, starting on the A string, right, because we always tune to the A string first, so whenever we're putting on tapes, we should think in terms of, okay, let me make sure it's right on the A string, and then I can check on the other strings. I hope that makes sense. Um, anyways, so here is D, fourth finger. Here's D sharp, which no one puts tapes there. And then a half step above that is E. So two half steps make one whole step. So half step, half step, so whole step. D, E. So this is where we put um, our first tape in fourth position. So let me straighten out the tape. And then it should be good. And I'm not being super picky with these tapes. I'm really not. I just am trying to demonstrate as close, closely as possible. So here's E. That was good. I did it. Yay. And then, of course, uh, whenever we play one, two, three, four, these are all half steps apart. The same goes for in fourth position. So a half a step up from E is F natural, which is finger two. So one, two, we can put a tape there. And you don't have to put tapes um, for all of the fingers. Um, I'm doing it just so that I can show you where they all go so that you can pick and choose for yourself. A lot of people just have one, three, and four, or one, two, and four. I really don't think it matters um, which you choose to do. I, really, I don't think it does. So here's one, here's two. So E and F, and then 
Um, F sharp is, of course, a half step above F natural. So we can, they're all pretty evenly spaced, as you can see. Yeah. And this tape is really old, and so you can tell that it's not sticking the way it should. Um, yeah. I need to buy new tape. And then a half a step up from F sharp is G. So we put that right there. And whenever I'm putting on tapes, I always kind of like place it there, test it out, and if it sounds good, see right there, that was flat. I put that too close to the third finger. I'm going to move it down. Fine. Close enough. Um, and then I take it away and I check to make sure that they are um, perfect. Oh, oh, it fell. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can get this by looking at it. <laughs> Oh, I think that's pretty close. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Um, there we go. So there's G. And to go through the notes on the other strings, um, on the D string, first finger in fourth position is A, B flat, B, C. On the G string, D, E flat, E, and F. I don't know why I had to like pause for a second. It was dumb. Um, open C, finger one is G, A flat, A natural, and B flat. Yeah. Also, please do not judge the length of my fingernails. You are supposed to keep your fingernails very, very, very short as a string player, and mine are not, so. So there's fourth position, and as you can see, they are a whole step apart. And yeah, pretty pretty straightforward. So if you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. And also, I love receiving questions from you guys. I have a list. I always write it down if someone sends in a question. Um, I can't promise that it'll get done in like a week or even two weeks, but it will get done eventually. So if you have any questions related to cello playing, piano playing, um, really just any music questions at all. If I don't know the answer, I know lots of people who are very smart and very good musicians, so I can always bring them in and have them do a tutorial for you. I hope that this video helped. If it did, if you liked it, um, give it a thumbs up, and if you think anyone else would benefit from it as well, be sure to share it, and as always, thank you for watching.